Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of my Let's Complete GTA 3 series. As you know by now that I am not only trying to complete the story missions, I'm going to try my damnedest to completely 100% this game. Which may be difficult, and I think it will be. But we're on to the Donald, Donald Love missions now, who's another character that turns up again in Vice City. But um, I don't know if you have heard, but when you're listening to the radio on this game, it always says, this is a Love Media project, or something like that. Donald Love is the businessman that I think owns all the radio stations in 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 Liberty City. Nevertheless, he's another interesting character and he has some good missions. So let's crack on. First of all, let me thank you for dealing with that personal matter. People will read something into anything these days. Experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price, but groups of men get greedy. A valued resource, an old oriental gentleman I know, has been kept hostage by some South Americans in Espatria. They're trying to extort additional funds from me, but I don't believe in renegotiation. A deal is a deal, so they'll not see a penny from me. Go and rescue my friend. Do whatever it takes. Go Jack a Colombian gang car. Right, so you can usually find the Colombian cars near the construction site, just past the safe house, and they're quite hostile. So this m might go smoothly, it might not. So I'm going to head in that direction now and try and find a Colombian gang car. Hopefully I won't be looking around for too long, otherwise I'll have to do some more speeding ups. But they're, they're usually, they're quite uh, common around this sort of area, around the university, around the construction site. But as I say, they don't. The Colombians and uh, and our character. There's one. They don't see eye to eye. Right. So let's quickly. So he's going to start. Right. So usually what happens is if you steal a Colombian gang car, oh, I think we're okay. Or if you steal a gang car that's near other gangs. Their, their car will usually chase you down. Some good driving there by me. Ah, I remember this. I remember this mission. It's sort of like a... you got to guess what garage the guy you're trying to rescue is in. So, got my gun. Should be able to make pretty quick work of these guys. One over here. That's the police on me already. Right, now I need to sort of guess, really. I'm going to bring the car around just a bit closer in case I need to make a quick getaway. Or I might try and drive by. No, I'll just. Alright, so it wasn't that one. Street sweeper. Not sure what that trophy means. There's two! Ugh. Shoot him then! Oh, man. Alright. Hopefully he's in this next one. He is. Gotta make sure I don't shoot him. You come in. Come, mate, because we've got... 
We've got the fuzz after us now. Let's get into a fresh car. And there's a hidden package there as well. Make a little mental note of that. I'll be back for that later. I'll probably do a uh, sped up episode of me just collecting all the secret packages. Again, it won't be incredibly entertaining, but it will be proof that I, if I, even if I do, uh, that I've 100%ed the game. Yeah. These trucks are rubbish to drive. Like, they're sort of fast, but, the, but they just don't turn. So they're just rubbish. I'll get this bloke back to where he needs to be. That should be the end of the mission. Look at that. Absolute rubbish. Get me back in a taxi. Booms. We getting paid? Yes, we are. Forty thousand dollars, and that's put us up to six hundred thousand dollars now. We're getting close to that million. That mil well, we're not getting close. We're getting closer. I think I think once you get once you got a million dollars I think that unlocks the trophy. I'm playing this on the PS4 by the way. If you're wondering, I'm not sh I, I don't think there's a trophy system in the old PlayStation 2. There might be. I can't really re remember. I don't think I ever played my PlayStation 2 online. It wasn't really something you did back then. I think it had I'm looking at it. It's got like USB slots and things like that, but I, I never ever took it online. So, gonna go and save my progress, and then maybe get some more body armor or something. Then it's on to the next mission. Yes. Alright, just thought while I was in the mood, I'll just go straight to the next mission. I was thinking about maybe topping up my body armour, but... Ah, we should be alright. <sighs> Little yawn. Yawns are infectious, aren't they? Are they infectious if you hear someone yawn? Is anyone yawning? Did anyone yawn after they heard me yawn just then? Is anyone yawning now? Because I've said the word yawn so many times, it's made them want to yawn. These are all interesting things that you must mention in a gameplay commentary. So, here we are. Donald loves offices. I keep wanting to say Donald Trump. <laughs> but... He's not someone I'm working for. Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old-fashioned gang war, apart from an outbreak of plague, but that might be going too far in this case. I've noticed the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Let's capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Wakagashira, Kenji Kassen. Kenji is attending a meeting at the top of the multi-story car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. So, I already have a cartel gang car. It's almost as if I read my trusty game guide and prepared for this mission beforehand. This mission is tricky. So... What I'm going to do is, I've, I've got a game plan, I've sort of got a game plan in my head. What you need to do is you need to drive to the top of the car park 
and shoot Kenji. You're not allowed to get out of the car, they're not allowed to see you. They need to think it was one of the Colombian gang members that did the hit. That's gangster talk. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have a few passes. So I'm going to drive up there once, try and shoot as many of these goons as I can. And then you and then you and then you have to sort of drive off a ramp to get away quickly. And then I'm going to drive back again because if you stick around, they will just blow up your car. So I'm just going to I'm not going to rush. I'm going to be very patient and I'm just going to do a few passes. So it will be a uh, it'll be two or three times that I have to drive up this awkward um car park and I think I'm going the right way because you need to be driving in the right direction to then drive off the ramp in the corner of the um of the of the parking lot you'll see what I mean in a second so that's the guy we've done jobs for him he was a bit rude to us so I don't mind shooting him and these are all his goons and they've got some proper guns on them that uh will make mincemeat of your car if you let them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot people, try and get a few people. Right. Now, going to get the car cleaned, cleaned, <laughs> going to get the car fixed, get these police off me, and then go back again for another for another pass. Hopefully, oh, I mean, as if my car doesn't blow up. Hopefully, that should work. That's the car fixed. That's the police off my back. So now I'm gonna have another pass and I might need to have another one after this with this with this game if you try and do it first time you will just oh Jesus oh god didn't expect him to be there um well hopefully yeah if his goons are down have sort of chased after me then maybe he'll be up here on his own and it should make make it easier to, to assassinate him. So up we go. Try not to get blown up. So let's have a little look. There he is. Should I just run him over? Can't see anyone else. Oh, there is. Right, I've killed him. I've killed him. Now I need to get away. God. I should have just driven over the... That's it. Here we go. Oh. Ah. Oh. Is it a mission fail? Now get out of Newport. Right, I'm just going to leg it. Yes! Okay, yeah. I mean, it only took me two two passes at him to kill him. But I was prepared. I was prepared to do more. If you sort of try and do that that level all in the one go, I think... My mother's my sister. <laughs> I think you will... Um, you will you, your car will just get blown up, basically. Because they have, they have those... Very powerful assault rifles. They carry shotguns as well. Two, basically, if you shoot a car twice, full on with a shotgun, that will blow it up. So, head back now. Save the game. And that's two Donald Love missions done already. Yes.
Okay. Time now to do the third. Did I say Donald Trump? <laughs> I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying Donald Love or Donald Trump. Anyway, the Don, the big Don, Donkey Kong. We need to do uh, his third mission. I've just had a little read of my game guide. This is a slightly tricky one. It's a timed mission, and police are involved. So I've sort of come up with a game plan in my head, but I don't know if if it will if I'll have enough time to implement it. This might be one of those missions where I have to go back and do again. So wish me luck. In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. Okay, get a boat and follow the plane. Right, two minutes. Now, I know where to get a boat. So I'm going to head in that direction and hopefully I'm getting in the right boat. Uh, I can't remember exactly, I've sort of got a little bit lost, bear with me a second. Right, the boat that I was going to get isn't the boat that is the boat is telling me to get but hopefully it should be fine I think this is easier just get a boat or oh, some weather some look at those waves yeah this is not good sailing weather I think this boat is faster than the boat that you're supposed to get maybe but that <laughs> these waters are choppy right 40 seconds should be okay I think should be all right should have enough time and so what's gonna happen is is that you will hopefully in in this bad weather see a plane there it is there and I need to I need to follow this plane and it drops little packages in the water and I think they have little blinking lights to help you find them but every time you get a package I think you get a higher and higher wanted level so I think that was the boat I was supposed to get if you can see that bobbing about there I'm unorthodox you know I don't play by the rules sue me right here we go. One. That's a one star wanted level. Two. That's a two star. <laughs> Three star. Lovely rainbow in the uh, distance there. We're on four. We're on four stars. <laughs> Five stars. That's the FBI. One more star and the... Right, okay. You have all the packages. Five stars better than six stars, I guess. Six stars, obviously, that gets the... Army involved. <laughs> so now I need to get to a car because there are going to be FBI cars after me. Uh, oh, come on, there's always a Yakuza stinger there. Okay, we've got a Banshee. Please be open. Please be open. I'm going to just try it. I'm going to race to the paint and spray. I'm not going to try and 
Uh, go to the D Donald Love. Whoa! 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 It's the first time I've seen an FBI car on playing this game. I think the highest wanted level we've had so far has been uh, four stars. So nice of the FBI to show up. Come on, come on, come on. Now as soon as I get into this pain spray, that should be it. Alright, that's the feds off my back. All that's left for me to do now is simply head back to Donald Love's office, give him the packages that I've collected, and be hopefully handsomely paid. I think, uh, I know the Banshee is a popular car. I can, I can see why. It's fast and manoeuvrable. It is a, it's a, it's a good car, Banshee. I should use it often. More often. I mean, taxis are still the best. And that, oh, I've got a trophy for that as well. That's a lovely little bonus, isn't it? Nice little Brucey. Ah, Ray. Ray's back on my radar. If you remember Ray from the last episode, I think. He's the dodgy police officer who you do work for that I think lives in the toilet. So... I think I know what that mission is, and it involves going into the over to the third island. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the Donald. I'm gonna have a quick read of my guide. But I think I'm gonna finish off with the Donald Love missions, and then do the Ray one, or I might do the Ray one first. I don't know yet. Okay, after a quick consultation with my game guide, um, I'm going to do the Ray mission next, because the next Donald Love mission is actually for somebody else. It's for a new guy, so I'm going to head to Ray, and I'm going to I'm going to do the mission with him, and that, and that will probably complete this episode. I've completed it, mate. Hashtag completed it, mate. You weren't followed. Good. This is it. I'm way over my head and I'm starting to drown here. The CIA seems to have a vested interest in Spank and they don't like us screwing with the cartel. I'm a marked man, so I'm getting out of here. Get me to my fight at the airport and I'll make it worth your while. Okay, the CIA have the bridge under surveillance. Find another route across. So, that leaves us with the tunnel. And... I remember the first couple of times I played this mission, I didn't pay much attention to that little bit of advice that you get there. And uh, if you do go over the bridge, it is it is pretty much impossible. So I, I need to try and remember where the tunnel entrance is. I can't really remember. I don't use the tunnel that often. I don't use the, I don't just use the bridges. But I think the tunnel is a good way to maybe go straight from the third island to the first. I think it's the other way. And, um... But, you know, other than that reason, I wouldn't really use this tunnel. It's a bit awkward to drive in. Especially if you're being timed. And you need to pay attention to the signs. Because you it's very easy to just end up driving to the wrong island 
So I'm going to keep my eyes open for the signs. Airport. I just saw airport left. Just saw it then. <laughs> just as it went over my head. Still going to keep... I think there's another sign. I think I'll have to do a left or something at some point. To go to the airport. So I'm just... What does this say? Airport left. Okay, we're all we're on time. We we we're, we're getting there. I think some people are gonna. Oh, mate! I think some people are going to try and shoot me once I get get out of the tunnel. So I'm gonna try my hardest to be swift, to not get blown up. Because they have those sort of, see, there, there, yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> oh God. Do I go in here? No, I don't. No, I don't. Come on, <laughs> twenty-five seconds. I got twenty seconds. Here's the kid in the lockup. You can find some cash, some supplies I stashed. Trying to things about fight. See you around. Okay, so I need to head back to a lockup. Now I can't remember. Let me just get this taxi. I can't remember. Oh, it's locked. I can't remember if I need to. If the lockup is back on the second island or if it's on this new third island. This is, of course, before. This GTA was before you got the little sat navy. It would tell you which way to go type thing. Uh, is it on this island? I'm going to quickly check my game guide. Bear with me, folks. Right, check the game guide. Got to head back to the second island. So, yes, going to take the tunnel. Because <laughs> the bridges are still being patrolled obviously and after doing all that and getting it done on time the last thing I'd want to do is get blown up now when I'm sort of at the easiest part of this of this mission so it's always good to be patient to have a game plan and to stick to it so going this way then I think I did a left and a left if I remember rightly, in this tunnel before. So I'll do a right and a right to go back to where I came from. Really easy to get lost in this tunnel. Uh, it's easy to start panicking and especially when you're like being timed. Staunton Island, that's what I want. So yeah, it's not the tunnel's sort of rubbish, isn't it? It's just sort of confusing, and it's all—it's not—it's all sort of swervy. Lots of corners in it and things. You can't really even drive that fast. It's only one lane. So now I should be on the right island. I'm pretty sure I am. And there should be some money and some treats waiting for me at this lockup. Wherever it is, I'm still not. I'm still wondering whether I am actually. No, I must be. I must be on the right island. Yes. Yes. I'm on the right island. So, where is it? Where do I go? down here yes this is it this is it so here we go take care of my bulletproof patriot it's all right isn't it and that's pushed us closer to almost seven hundred thousand dollars 
worth of career earnings. Oh! <laughs> right, I really wouldn't like to get arrested now because I have a feeling that this car might come in handy at some point. So I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to drive straight back to the safe house. I'm going to store this car in the safe house and leave it there. And I'm only going to use it if I need to. So that's it from me for now. Please subscribe, please like, please comment, please share. I'll see you all again soon for another episode. Adios.